Okay, so we're live. Um, I'm gonna do the intro and then we start the. I'm gonna start asking you the questions, all right? Sure, sure then. Come and me teach your parts one now. Hello everyone, welcome to Shan's Patwa Academy, Jamaican Patwa Simplified. I am Shan, your Jamaican Patwa teacher from Jamaica. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I have a Jamaican Patwa student from Russia who I will be asking some questions about Jamaican Patwa just to, you know, see what it's like to be studying Jamaican Patwa and all of those things. So, how are you? Uh, <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while. Yeah, uh, all the time, yeah. Me fine, fine. Everything crisp. Oh, first, for the record, this video is being recorded with the intention of putting it on my YouTube channel, which is Shan's Patwa Academy, all right? But before I post it, I'm going to send you a copy of the final cut. So if you're if you not like anything in it, you can let me know I'm change it again. All right. All right. All right. Cool. So to begin, um, let's talk about. Let's start with like your name and where you're from and any information you'd like to add. You know, student. What are you careers and stuff like that? All right. My name Clip. This is Russian name. Me yeah, from Russia. I uh, made it burn in uh, St. Petersburg, 1983, so me, 27 years old. And, um, you know, me be a picnic, me did in a, me, 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 me picnic time did in the 90s. So in the 90s, we listened to a uh, Vulipa jungle music, Vulipa, this kind of uh, Raga, old school raga was uh, based uh, music. Mm. So uh, the patwa by itself uh, uh, kind of genetically fit mm. in I and I. So, so, um, so you, you start you start learn patwa when you from music when you when you little bit you don't listen to for reggae music and I say you start learn patwa. Sure. Okay. At least. Uh, me and my generation in Russia, we did start to pick up some word mm. directly from the picnic time. Oh, okay. So, um, you ever go to Jamaica? Have you ever been to Jamaica? No, I mean, never, never, me never did a Jamaica, but uh, me wish, me wish. This year, me, I got to defend my thesis. So, and we think after and all, of course, uh, after this coronavirus time, mm -hmm. uh, and I go finish, me, me soon go to Jamaica, fly to Jamaica. Oh, okay. I think I go to Jamaica before, where did I get that from? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, probably you don't tell me, you don't tell me one time, so you, you won't go to the school. Oh, we just have a youth at one time. Maybe I'd have said. All right. So um, what's your impression of Jamaica and Jamaican people? Um, what do you think about Jamaicans? You know, uh, the most interesting thing, like, I think at some point, uh, Russian nation and Jamaican quite similar. Mm -hmm. Myself, uh, Russian, much more similar in the in 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 the social way of uh, behave in the social behavior in the way to solve problem and things like that. They are more close the Jamaican comparing to say European people or some Asian people. So how does Jamaican culture? How is it represented in Russia? Uh, For think... example, do you have like um, lots of groups that lots of people will listen to the music 
or do you have a lot of people there speaking patwa or that kind of thing I see uh, back in the day uh, maybe in 90s um Ulipa people uh, listen to reggae music and uh, other related to Jamaican style like uh, raga uh, dancehall and style like that but right now I think um everyone listens to trap music mm. because trap is kind of a bit far from Jamaican styles mm. of music so dancehall I think somebody who in a um, dancing like some lady who dance them dance dance hall me think the only people from whom me hear about dance hall yeah so in, in a russia mm-hmm. are ladies who dance because mm. sometimes sometimes me, me still like some of the artists them out there where some of the dance hall artists them sometimes they would have post like some videos as some people from Russia I do the I dance to them song so me get that where yeah, some me know so the dancing culture um kind yeah. of popular there so you know have like no um Russian dancehall artists or no reggae artists were popular uh, they have um they have some reggae artists so people still listen to Bob Marley but mm-hmm. me think it are the it might be only smarty them listen to in this scene so yes uh, reggae music like a roots reggae classic classical reggae mm. are popular but uh, more novel genre people no no about them oh okay all right so let's get back play, yeah, my person play, um, did play in a reggae band when me did in, a, in my in my university So you, you still didn't have the, the whole, like in a year time, well, no, a year time still, because you're not really old or not like that. But in a year time, um, you had more people interested in a reggae than now. Now the younger generation are like trap. Sure. Oh, okay. All right. So let's get back to the language then, the Jamaican patwa, or just languages in general. How many languages do you speak? Um, a part of Russian, which is my native. Um, able to speak English. Mm-hmm. Um, you did in a special English school, so maybe at some point me get bored of the normal English, and mm-hmm. at this point of view, of course, Patwa a bit more passionate in, in the sense of. Uh, I also speak a little bit German and uh, study uh, Chinese for four years already, four years. Okay. All right. So out of all of those languages, no, you said you started listening to reggae music at a young age and that's how you pick up a lot of the Jamaican pato but you also took classes because I, I, I met you through class right so compared to other languages and Jamaican pato do you find any differences in like learn what are some of the major differences you would say with Jamaican pato and another language for example English um, I think pato is a street language the language of the street First of all, so um, probably uh, somebody can try uh, to chat patwa at some scientific conference uh, or some official uh, uh, assembly and things like that. But uh, first of all, for me, like language of the street, so it's kind of more functional at some point than English. English is like universal language. You may use English, standard English, any way you want. But Jamaican is for um, more specific situations. But me like, you know, in Russia, 
of course, every Somali who speak English speak Russian English. So me like how me sound when me substitute me on Russian English to Jamaican English. So for me, it sounds more more better. Me like. <laughs> But but when they do that, people understand it all. Uh, partly. <laughs> but me right. like me like how it affect the situation. Sometimes okay. me like uh, this uh, major hype. <laughs> Ras Rask character of major hype. So sometimes me speak in way. So okay. So um, let's can is it okay if I talk about your hair for a little bit? So how is it? Because it's like uh, you're wearing dreads, and of course that's Jamaican culture. Um, how how are you perceived in Russia with your hair like that? Do you get a lot of questions? Are people curious, or do they look at you different? Well, me live in a uh, Saint Petersburg. It had the um, second. Uh, uh city in a in a russia after moscow so we are very very how to say tolerant at some point we have a, a bully, uh, foreigner people and uh, you know me think i'm no problem we have no problem with uh, me dreadlock but theoretically if me i go uh travel somewhere far east or far south of Russia, probably it could be more question for me. But, you know, dreadlocks, like, have uh, mm, a big dreadlock culture in uh, early 2000 years. So people, even, I think, even Russian Bush people, even, even them get, uh, you know, uh, get familiar with uh, this kind of outlook. So, okay. it's, so do you have, I think it, it do you considers have... a bit outdated, like okay. old fashioned. So in the past, it was popular for for um, Russians to have dreadlocks, but no, it's not. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Well, yes. Uh, right now, Avulipa, Avulipa youth. Them also wear dreadlock, but them shave a part of their head, like uh, cut them like extension and this kind of music. And the uh, Avulipa smother like extension them use dreadlock, then we are dreadlock. And uh, for that reason, youth again wear dreadlock, but they know nothing about reggae culture, about um, Jamaican affection, pun the this hairstyle and things like that oh all right all right so um let's get back to the language again jamaican patrol language and stuff so like i said you started um you learn through listening reggae music and taking lessons online is there any other um, methods that you had of, um, or that you have now of learning the language that can help students who are struggling to find resources? Well, um, I think there's some um, internet website with some kind of grammar rule and uh, some uh, word, but uh, you know. Of course, it's 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 interesting if you discover like uh, you use skeleton instead of skeleton, and you use sophie ticket instead of certificate, and things like that. But it's not kind of it 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 not gonna help you if you really chat part to it. It's just a couple of words. But we think if uh, if smarty one if you develop the fluent. Patwa, him need he chat Patwa with the native, of course. Okay, so um, did you have problems finding resources? Because a lot of my students now complain about finding resources, like books. Um, did you have challenges um, 
challenges finding those or did you not search or what what well we know some books like history of 12 killings yes uh and uh, so jamaican or ex-jamaican author who write uh, the dialogue in actual part were but we think um, the most resourceful is Jamaican movies of these criminal movies. It's Jamaican Mafia, Shotas and other movies. I think okay. it's a Fimi primal resource. Okay. All right. So, um, now, <laughs> this is a strange question, but I'm going to ask you because a lot of people ask me when I'm studying Japanese, they'll be asking, what's your favorite Japanese word? So, what's your favorite Jamaican Pato word? Word. Mm -hmm. Or phrase. Phrase. Or phrase. Yeah. It's a, I know, interesting question. I think, uh, uh, And well, first time I said that, no. Because I was regarding, saying, regarding I word, I think, yeah. I really, I really like uh, surfy ticket. <laughs> <laughs> surfy ticket, I think, it has been my favorite word. Um, you know, me from scientific background, not from voodoo, I mean from really scientific background. So, oh. in scientific uh, vocabulary, you have to use word certificate a little bit time like mm -hmm. you have to grant something and you you deal with some paper so you often often use uh, certificate but uh, uh since me try to chat patwa every time me need to use english instead of russian me also use sophie ticket instead of, instead of certificates <laughs> very very fun <laughs> so people the correct answer like people when they know say a photo yeah chat the correct answer you mean certificate <laughs> yeah but yeah me in in this situation me me actually like this situation can you say you know miss me not speak uh accent english no more me speak Jamaican part of it, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. That that's funny though. That <laughs> usually people usually when they ask people what their favorite word, they're gonna say something like, um my favorite like like I said before, the um people always ask me what's your favorite Japanese word. So I always say there's a Japanese word that says gambate, which means do your best or you know, you can do it. So usually they always come with some word like with a meaning like that, but then you say sur surfing ticket, <laughs> so it's just funny. <laughs> but yeah, I like your reason behind it too. All right, um, how would you assess your Jamaican Patois level? What do you think, um, like you're a beginner, upper beginner, intermediate, how would you assess it? your... I think like me, uh, intermediate, but um... Me need real um, mm, living practice. I think uh, once me reach uh, Jamaica, once me uh, start live at Jamaica, uh, female language should improve. So me know of the theory, me know of the grammar, me know of um, the Jamaican native word, but uh, I think uh, we need uh, more time uh, in uh, Jamaican common situations, like in shop, in palace office, and yes. And <laughs> uh, so you, you you have plans actually for go to Jamaica to live? Yeah, I may have link on Jamaica, oh. so. All right, cool. One day, may I go? Do some recording, um, 
me, me actually me, me produce some music. Actually, it's not female music uh, not related to Jamaican, so it's even more fun to, to play, you know, completely uh, even say non-African related music, but uh, being uh, being with love with the Patwa language. So. That sounds interesting. I, mean, I look forward to that. When you when you when you start making music and stuff, you just message me. Check out the one here, you know. Check it out. Yeah, man. All right. So now, since you say you uh, you you think say uh, Jamaican patwa level uh, intermediate, I gotta get some some questions. I'm going to answer them for me. All right. I gotta get some situations and stuff. Ready? Sure. Pop quiz. Because this is our language school. <laughs> sure, sure. All right. So, first one. You are at a party, and the selector starts a song and says, pull up. What does that mean? I think we need the light, a light, uh, and probably uh, do something like that. No. <laughs> Yeah, oh. but we pull up mean, we pull up mean, what gonna happen now? Hmm. You know? What, 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 yeah, what gonna happen after the, the selected? Oh, what, what happened? Up. Yeah. Hmm. Now, may I ask you, what gonna happen now? Uh oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, well, before, before when they say I go do that, that did close, but um, pull up means that I'm going to start the song again. Oh, pull up, like, rewind. Mm, right, right, right. All right, next one. Now, everybody know Wagwan, right? Everybody knows, so you agree to friend with Wagwan. But separate from Wagwan, give me two other ways where you can greet your Jamaican friend in a Jamaican patwa. Um, you can say, you're good. Mm -hmm. You can say, uh, mm, everything I everything. All right, all right, we take that, we take that. All right, not done bad. Next. Now, how can you express in Jamaican Patwa that something is disorganized? Or uh, not in order. You say something mash up. Mash up. All right. Yes. Yeah, mash up. Mash up can work. Mash up can work. Me that expect like chaka chaka. Or chaka chaka. Yeah, man. You, you know the one. You know chaka chaka. Yeah. Right. So chaka chaka would be the better one, but mash up can go on in a some some situations. I know, but all right. You're at a Jamaican restaurant. How do you compliment the chef in Jamaica Patwa? <laughs> we say, uh, the food uh, nyami nyami. <laughs> nyami nyami, why you say nyami nyami? Why your reason? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nyami nyami actually. I don't know if nyami nyami is a good term, because if somebody describes you as nyami nyami, that means you're greedy, or you eat from anybody, oh. you know, so I know a good term, you know, that case. <laughs> you could you gonna just say, um, chef, you go on with a thing, or, you know, chef, your food nice, or anything oh. like that. Yeah. All right, last one. You uh, are in Jamaica. And you want to ask directions to the hospital or the police station? <laughs> oh, you don't ask that. We say, "How about the hospital there?" All right, all right, yeah, yeah, that good. But you can't just—I mean, you can't just go up to people and say, "How about the hospital there?" You have to be like, "Yeah, man." Um, you can't say something, or you know, you have to be cushion. You kind of know if people. <laughs> But yeah, where the hospital there is is good because that's saying where is the hospital? All right, good. That's that's pretty good. So yeah, that takes us to the end of uh, this 
conversation. This was fun. Um, thank you so much. I know that you have a lot going on now with your thesis. By the way, what's it in? Is it in, oh, you said you did sciences? Yeah, man. Okay. In a science in a computer music, kind of academic computer music. It's not like music DJ play. It's more like some conservatory thing. Oh. All right. Well, I hope you do well with your, your, your thesis defense. And thank you so much for fitting me in. We've been going back and forth for a while to find a, a time. So, because at 10 o'clock, no, you know, usually I'm at bedtime, I'm here, but, but thank okay. you. Thank you. And good, all, the, all the best. And I really hope you get to, you know, visit Jamaica. Hope you get to live that dream. Thank you so much. And okay. um, respect in any aspect. <laughs> Are the bell that class done you know? Take care of yourself, Z. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell so that you may be notified every time when I upload a video. Also, please follow me on Instagram for daily Jamaican Patwa vocabulary. Are you bell that? Class done you know. Take care of yourself. See you.